back. I'm a god of everybody. I got me a donation here, ranking death metal bands from Michael Rogers. And he wants me to rank Deicide, Death, Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel, who else? Obituary. Uh, he wants me to rank these bands, and he wants me to name my two favorite albums, my two least favorite albums, and my top five songs. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, Michael. When it comes to picking my least favorite, they probably aren't the least favorite to mega fans of these bands. But all these bands, I kind of lost interest in, you know, uh, after a few albums, two or three albums, and I was out. So I'm not too familiar with all that came after, but I will say the ones I've heard that I do remember, okay, there may be worse than that. But in my opinion, what I pick is the best. It's the early stuff. It's the best stuff, according to me. All right? So at number six, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put a Cannibal Corpse. Uh, I mean, I liked um, Eating Back to Life and The Bleeding. I did like those albums back then. And, uh, but the song, the two I heard that I wasn't crazy about was a band, an album called Vile, and the other one's called A Skeletal Domain. Could be great for all I know, but all I know, I didn't like it like I liked those early albums. All right, so number six is Cannibal Corpse. Number five, when my bass player Josh Gibson is now in Europe with this band, Malevolent Creation with uh, Phil. I'm, I'm friends with that dude, man. They're good, good guys. I love Malevolent. They've been around forever down here, local scene. I saw them a million times back in the day. Uh, rest in peace, Brad Hoffman. All right, um, my favorite Malevolent Creation album is Ten Commandments. Then I'm going to have to go with Retribution. I love Retribution. I love both these albums to death. But again, I kind of lost interest, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I will say my two least favorites, the one I've heard, was Dead Man's Path and Doomsday X. I remember those two, and I was like, eh. I didn't hate them. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like what I know of the later stuff. Because I heard 13 Beasts. And I did like that one a lot, which I believe was their last one. So I don't think, I think these two were not as good. My opinion. All right, next. Oh, and these are my top five. Wait, I didn't do, even do my top five Cannibal Corpse songs. My top five Cannibal Corpse song. Uh, five, A Skull Full of Magnets. Two, uh, Shredding Humans. Three, I Come Blood. Four, Stripped, Raped, and Mangled. And number one, Hammer Smash Face. Those are my five, my top five Cannibal Corpse songs. Now, my top five malevolent creation songs, number uh, five, Multiple Stab Wounds. Number four, Malevolent Creation, No Way to Stop It. And number three, Iced, awesome song. Number two, Mind Lock, brutal, awesome and number one, my favorite Malevolent Creation song, Monster. All right, next is uh, Death. Uh, that's my number four. I'm ranking these from least favorite to favorite. Death, I know, is everybody's favorite. I dig them. I love Leprosy. That's my favorite, but then it's Scream Bloody Gore. It's the early stuff. Uh, my two least favorite, and I do know these Death albums. Uh, and Symbolic is not bad, but I put it there because my two least favorite would be Symbolic, but uh, Sound of Perseverance, I didn't like much at all. You know, many love it. Not a fan. I'm sorry. So definitely that one's the worst. Uh, now my top five um, death songs. And number five, Live in Monstrosity. All spiritual here. Uh, number four, Open Casket. Number three, Ritual. Zombie Ritual. Uh, number two, Pull the Plug. What a riff in that song. Dun, 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 man. And number one, Mutilation, Mutilation. Damn, I love all that stuff, man. That was some good shit. All right, at number three, Obituary. And again, I got to go with the first two albums. Cause of Death and Slowly We Rock are my two favorite Obituary albums. The ones that I know of, but not too familiar, that I didn't like much, was Back From Dead and Executioner's Return. Those are the two I was kind of like, eh. Uh, now the top five songs. At number five, The Incomplete. 
Uh, number four, cause of death. And number three, slowly we rot. And number two, till death. I love the hell out of that song. But my favorite is Chopped in Half. All right, number two, Deicide. Yes, I love early Deicide. Not too familiar with the later stuff, but man, the first album in Legion, those two, awesome. And then what I heard after that was not as awesome to me. And the two that I heard that I wasn't crazy about at all was uh, Overture of Blasphemy and then uh, In Torment in Hell. Wasn't a fan. All right, these were my top five open, uh, mm, Deicide songs. All right, number five, uh, Repent to Die. At number four, Sacrificial Suicide. At number three, Dead But Dreaming. At number two, Behead the Prophet. And at number one, Dead by Dawn. Dead by Dawn. Dead by Dawn. Epic. Favorite DSI song. All right, at number one, my all-time favorite death metal band, by the way, is Morbid Angel. And Morbid Angel is a band that I really kept up with till Domination. What was the D album? You know, our alphabetical covenant. I think it's Domination. Then after that, I didn't care. Gates of whatever. I didn't care for the uh, Morbid Angel after that. But man, up to Domination, I love those albums. And my favorite is Covenant. Most people would say Alter of Madness or Blessed of the Sick. I would say they're both awesome. And I would put Alter of Madness as my number two. Now, as far as um, my least favorite, uh, um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Eludi Vum in Santos, which is David Vincent's return, which is whatever. I didn't care for it. All right, my top five Morbid Angel song. Number five is a bit controversial. I don't think many people would put this in their top five. Maybe some like it, but it's from Domination, and I know my friends hate it, but I love Where the Slime Lives. I love the effect on David Vincent's voice. I like the grinding, playing on it. It's just amazing. Number five, Where the Slime Lives. All right, number four, classic, Chapel of Ghouls. Beyond classic. Uh, at number three, you know, really, I, I would love to put this at number one because it's so badass. Days of Suffering. Oh, man, does that song rule. From Blessed to the Sick. At number two, the song that I discovered, Morbid Angel, they played this video on Headbangers Ball, and it blew my mind because already at that time I was into death, I was getting a little bit into death metal. When I heard this song, I thought it was the greatest death metal song I ever heard in my life. And I would put it at number two now, because I think there is one more song more awesome than that song. But I'm going with Immortal Rights. So epic, so awesome, so death metal. That's the death metal I love. That old school stuff, man. All right, at number one, Rapture, man. What opens up Covenant? What a song is that song. Video is awesome, too. My God, do I love that song. If anything would have made Death Metal huge, should have been that. Even though I believe at the time, Covenant was the biggest selling Death Metal album back then because of God of Emptiness, but I... I believe now it's Cannibal Corpse. They over, overthrew it. But there you go, Michael Rogers. There's my rankings and my five favorite songs, my two least favorite albums, my two favorite albums. Thank you so much, buddy. I had fun doing this. It took me back to my death metal loving days, which I don't really listen to much death metal anymore. But yeah, I, you know, I do have all this stuff or all the good stuff that I liked. Uh, in my iPod. All my favorite albums of these, all, all six of them are in my iPod, the favorite ones. And there you go. So thanks again, Michael, and thank you for watching. If you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So, 
stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob. Bye.